let's take a look at how to run the slide rooms in when you're done camping. The first thing that you want to make sure of on the inside of the camper is that there's no debris or obstructions along the floor line or along either side of the camper. So things like a door being stuck out, or if you have a rug that is lifted and folded up like so, or a toy, or a spoon, a fork, anything that can get lodged underneath that slide floor. You wanna make sure all of that is clear before you run the slide room in. Another important factor before moving the slide room in is making sure that any debris or water is cleared from the top of the slide roof before you move the slide room in. The easiest way to do that is to use a ladder, a broom, and a squeegee. And what you would do is you would go to the top of the camper with the ladder. And if there's any tree branches, acorns, any kind of debris at all, you would want to sweep that off. It's important not to walk on that slide roof. So you'd have to have a long enough ladder and a long enough broom to reach any debris. And you would do the same thing with the water. So you'd want to squeegee any water off before you ran the room in. If you don't do this, the water could end up inside the camper on the floor and then the debris can prevent the camper from creating a seal on the top flange to the side wall of the camper. So it's extremely important to make sure that those slide roofs are completely clear and clean. After you verify that, you'll come over to your switch panel and you'll have switches that are located on the panel that are marked as slide one, slide two, etc. So keep in mind, if you have one slide or three slides, you'll have switches that are marked accordingly. Then you simply will press and hold the in button and your slide will come in. You'll want to hold that button down the entirety of the movement on the slide. If you hear any loud popping, scratching, you'll want to release the switch. Once the slide room is all the way in, you'll let go of the button and then you'll walk outside before you drive off and make sure that it has seated properly all the way on the side of the camper. Let's go see what that looks like. When the slide travel is done on the inside, you'll want to come outside and make sure that the slide is seated properly on the sidewall of the camper. And you'll also want to make sure that it's secured from the top to the bottom and it's even all the way across. There may be a slight gap from the end wall of the slide to the side wall of the camper. So if you notice, I can fit my fingers back behind this fascia, but there is a bulb seal and that bulb seal is rubber. It's usually about an inch thick. And so as the slides come in, it's actually going to compress against that bulb seal to create the seal and protect the camper from any of the elements. It actually does the same thing when you run the slide room out. However, when you're running it out, the seal is on the inside of the camper. Before we run the slides out, we want to come outside and make sure that there's plenty of clearance all the way around the camper in the areas that the slide is located. So keep in mind when you're parked, the slide room is obviously going to extend outward. And if you have a neighbor next to you, like we do here to my right, you want to make sure that the slide room is not going to hit an awning or a sidewall or a tree, a pedestal, any object at all. You have to make sure it's clear. There's two good ways to do that. Uh, the first thing that you could do is you could take a tape measure with you and you can measure the travel distance of the slide box. And before you run the room out, you would simply measure the side of the camper and match that up with the width of the slide box and make sure that there's no obstruction. The other way would be to use the buddy system. So you could have a spotter on the outside and they could watch the room as it's, as it's traveling. And in the event that it's going to hit something, they could simply knock on the sidewall to get you to stop the room movement. If you have two, three, or even five slides, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have clearance on every room. Don't just assume because one room is clear that they're all going to be clear. So you would simply make the walk around the camper and verify each location and make sure there's plenty of clearance before you move the slide room. So let's run this room out and we can take a look at that next. To extend the slide rooms, you'll locate the slide switch and you will press and hold the button that's marked for slide out, like so. You will hold this button for the entirety of the slide move and until that you see that the slide is seated properly on the wall. Once it seats on the wall, you release the button. 
just like that. Once the slide is out, you'll want to make sure that you have good compression on the seal that's behind this end wall. So you can actually take your hand and slide it back behind and you can see the seal. It's located right here. There'll be a slight gap, but that gap is just for the seal. Thank you.